I think one thing that I often find is that the definition of domestic abuse has changed. And I've been training at a time where it has changed. And a lot of them forget about the fact that, uh, that domestic abuse can also be financial. I just think it would be useful to hear a bit more about economic abuse in particular. I really feel that the legislation has pushed ahead and sometimes there's a lack of education about what the legislation is saying and I feel we're in a position where financial abuse is now recognised as domestic abuse. I'm not sure always that people are recognising it and I'm not sure always that the courts have totally caught up with that. Again, get specialist advice and, and don't allege it if it's not there. You know, unfortunately people will hook onto something and say there's been financial abuse where there hasn't, it's just that one party's managed the finances and the reality is they haven't been financially abused. So you've got to, you can't just make allegations, there's got to be a substance to it. But unfortunately people do use money as power and understanding and recognising that and seeing that as part of your case is, is really important. If you do have any questions or you want to reach out and find out more about the work we do, then please do drop us an email.